As East Central University gears up to celebrate its 100th anniversary this year, the city of Ada is busy constructing the new Centennial Plaza at the east terminus of Main Street. It's a project, like many others throughout the past century, designed to bring the city and ECU closer together. It's definitely going to be a retreat for anyone in the community. It's going to be relaxing with the fountains, a great place to, you know, hang out on the weekends and just walk around the campus. We have such a gorgeous facility um, here at East Central. The Centennial Plaza will flank the towering Halle Brown Ford Fine Arts Center on the south and east sides, allowing for more pedestrian traffic in the area. The project, when completed, will cost approximately $300,000 and will be funded by use tax and Proposition 1, the three-quarter cent sales tax dedicated to infrastructure improvements in the city of Ada. Although the plaza will be part of ECU's campus, all residents will be encouraged to enjoy it. It's a great partnership between the college and the city because um, the city's providing the area uh, and the college is going to manage the area. It's, uh, it's like bringing a town square back to a town that's never had one. The plaza will become part of the community as a whole, but at the same time will serve as a distinct entry point into the ECU campus from the west. We hear from people who aren't from Ada and they don't exactly know where the beginning of the campus starts and the city begins and, and with this new Centennial Plaza is going to come a gateway to the university. It's going to be defined. You're going to know you're at East Central University when you drive up East Main. Ideally, the plaza area will become the anchor for the proposed East Main Street Arts District, a plan that calls for more cultural activities along the corridor from Mississippi East to the campus. After the plaza is completed, the City of Ada will begin total reconstruction of East Main Street in a western direction until it meets with the earlier Main Street reconstruction east of Constant Street. This area in the past few years had become a little blighted. Um, this is going to bring new life to the area uh, with the new, the new streets that will be coming in from Main Street into the plaza area. Uh, we're already seeing several of the businesses um, that were closed, uh, being bought and remodeled. Um, houses that are in the area that are being used as businesses are getting new picket fences in front of them. So I think it's already encouraging a redevelopment of the area. And uh, you know, when your neighbor remodels their house, it's, it, you, you want to remodel yours. And I think that we're going to see that uh, move down uh, with the development of this, this area. The Centennial Plaza is an excellent example of what can be accomplished when the City of Ada and ECU work together for the betterment of the entire community. We're very excited about the partnership with the City of Ada. The plaza would not have been possible without that partnership, without the hours that the city crews have put in and really made it a wonderful place. The Centennial Fountain and the gazebo would not have been possible without private donations, which we seek both. Um, in order to progress the university. It's going to be a unique opportunity with the growth of the new arts district for us to partner together and um, hopefully bring new events and new excitement to downtown Ada.